Daniel Medvedev versus Yannick Sinner is the second semi-final for the ATP Finals for 2023. And both have had impressive runs to get to the stage. In his first round robin match, Sinner would take on the number six Sitsi pass, who had been in some bad form of late. And it showed as Sinner got through in straights, 6-4, 6-4. In his second match, he'd take on the world number one Novak Djokovic, a man who he'd never beaten before. But with the crowd on his side, Sinner was able to get through in three, 7-5, 6-7, 7-6. In his final match, he'd take on the number eight seed Runa, a man that he'd also never beaten before. And after splitting the first two sets, Sinner would eventually get through in three, 6-2-5-7-6-4 to advance to the semi-finals undefeated. Medvedev entered the tournament as number three seed and would take on Rublev in the first match. There's no problem getting through in straights, 6-4-6-2. In his second match, he'd take on Zverev, a man that he'd played five times already this year. And like four of those previous matches, Medvedev would get through, 7-6-6-4. In his final match, he'd take on Alcaraz, the number two seed, who he'd just beaten at the US Open a couple of months earlier. But with Medvedev already in the semi-finals, he didn't need the win, and Alcaraz would beat him in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. These two have played eight times before, with Medvedev leading the head-to-head 6-2. However, Sinner has won their previous two matches over the last month or two, with their last match being in Vienna two weeks ago, Sinner getting a very close three-set win. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to serve well and get that crowd going crazy early, because we know Medvedev doesn't deal well with the crowds at times, so if Sinner can get the crowd going really early on, maybe can frustrate Medvedev, and also needs to serve well, as he has been during this week. If Medvedev's going to win this one, he needs to keep his cool and he needs to serve better than he did against Alcaraz. Against Alcaraz, it looked like he wasn't trying super hard. He already made it to the semifinals. Maybe he didn't want to use too much energy, but he needs to try hard in this one because he's going to have to face Sinner and the crowd. So he needs to serve really well and be aggressive. What a great matchup. They've played four times this year and the head-to-head -head this year alone is split 2-2, but I've got to go with Sinner in this one. With the crowd on his side and being undefeated, I feel like Sinner's just on such a high right now and I reckon he gets Medvedev again in a very close three setter, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.